The Slovenia national football team represents Slovenia in international football and is controlled by the Football Association of Slovenia. In the period between 1920 and 1991, Slovenia was ineligible to field a separate team for competitive matches, local players instead played for the Yugoslavia national football team. Slovenia played its first official match in 1992, one year after the country gained independence from Yugoslavia. Slovenian national team has participated in three major football competitions. In 1999, Slovenia qualified for the UEFA Euro 2000 after eliminating Ukraine in a playoff. Slovenia achieved another success two years later, qualifying for the 2002 FIFA World Cup, this time defeating Romania in a playoff. The team did not lose a match in its whole qualifying campaign, finished in second place with six wins and six draws, but did not obtain any points in the group stage of the finals. Despite failing to qualify for the 2006 FIFA World Cup, Slovenia was the only team to defeat the eventual World Cup winners Italy during the campaign. Slovenia qualified for its last major tournament in 2009 after defeating Russia in a playoff to clinch a berth for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. History Origins Before Slovenian independence in 1991, the Slovenian national team existed only as a regional team not officially recognized by FIFA. It had a similar status as the Catalonia national football team. The team had mostly played exhibition matches against teams from other republics of SFR Yugoslavia and was represented by Slovenian players under the traditional colors of white, blue and red. The first football clubs were formed at the beginning of the 20th century during the period when most of the territory of present-day Slovenia was still within the Austro-Hungarian Empire. At the end of the World War I, Slovenia, along with Croatia, joined the Kingdom of Serbia forming the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, which would be renamed into Yugoslavia in 1929. On 24 April 1920, the Ljubljana Football Subassociation was formed as the Slovenian branch of the Yugoslav Football Association and organized the first football leagues. The winner of the Ljubljana Subassociation League had access to the Yugoslav Championship. On 23 June 1921, the Slovenian capital Ljubljana hosted a match between the French national team and selection of players from Slovenian clubs. The chef de mission of the guests was the acting FIFA president, Jules Rimet, who later initiated the first World Cup tournament. France won 5-0 and, although the match was not official by international standards, it was, at least in Slovenia, widely accepted as the first appearance of a Slovenian national team. Independence In 1991, Slovenia was the first of the republics, alongside Croatia, to gain independence from Yugoslavia. With the recognition of the new country by the international community, the team was also recognized by FIFA and UEFA. The new Slovenian national football team played its first FIFA-recognized game on 3 June 1992 in Tallinn against Estonia. The match ended in a 1-1 draw, with Igor Benedicic scoring the first goal for the new team. The first coach of the team was Boyan Prasnikar. It was not until its third game on 7 April 1993 that the team achieved its first international victory by defeating Estonia 2-0 at the Zisdi Stadium in Ljubljana, with goals scored by Samir Zulik and Sasso Udovic. From 1994 to 1997, the team was managed by Z. Denko Verdenik, who was the first to lead the team through qualifications for a major tournament. In a group with Italy, Croatia, Ukraine, Lithuania, and Estonia, the team won three games and took 11 points in 10 matches of the UEFA Euro 1996 qualifications. Verdenik also coached the team through qualifications for the 1998 FIFA World Cup. In a group with Croatia, Denmark, Greece, and Bosnia and Herzegovina, the team finished in last place with only one point in eight matches and a goal differential of minus 15. Afterwards, Verdenik was sacked and Boyan Prasnikar was named as the Slovenian coach for the second time. 
At the time, he was also the head coach of the Slovenian top division club Maribor and was given an ultimatum from the Football Association of Slovenia that he could only manage one team. He decided in favour of Maribor, and the Football Association of Slovenia appointed Sreko Katanic as the head coach. Sreko Katanic and Zlatko Zahovic period Golden Generation Euro 2000 qualifying campaign The first qualifications for the new coach were for UEFA Euro 2000. Slovenia was drawn into a group with Norway, Greece, Latvia, Albania, and Georgia. Slovenia finished in second place, with Zlatko Zahovic scoring 8 out of 12 team goals. Second place in the group meant that the team was to play additional qualifications against Ukraine. The first leg was played in Ljubljana, which Slovenia won 2-1. Zlatko Zahovic scored the first goal, bringing his total in the qualifying campaign to 9, while Milenko Akimovic scored from the halfway line late in the game for the final score of 2-1. The second leg was played in snowy conditions in Kiev. Sergei Rebrov scored in the 68th minute, while Slovenia equalized 8 minutes later with a goal scored by Miran Pavlin. The 1-1 draw meant that Slovenia has won 3-2 on aggregate and qualified on its first major tournament. Topic: <inaudible> Euro 2000. For its first major tournament, Slovenia was drawn into Group C together with Spain, Yugoslavia, and Norway. In the first game of the group, Slovenia played against Yugoslavia and took a 3-0 lead after one hour of play, with Zlatko Zahovic scoring twice and Miran Pavlin once. Yugoslavia made a comeback as they scored three goals in only six minutes for the final score 3-3. The second game was played in Amsterdam against Spain. Spain took the 1-0 lead quickly with a goal by Raúl. Slovenia equalized after one hour of play as Zlatko Zahovic scored his third goal of the tournament. Spain then took the lead again after only 60 seconds with a goal by Joseba Itziberia. About 10,000 Slovenian fans gathered to see the match at Amsterdam Arena, which is still a record for the most Slovenian spectators on a football game outside Slovenia. In the last round of the group stage, Slovenia played against Norway and still had chances to progress to the quarterfinals. The match finished 0-0 and the team won its second point of the tournament. Topic: 2002 World Cup qualifying campaign. For the 2002 FIFA World Cup, Slovenia was drawn into a group together with Russia, Yugoslavia, Switzerland, Faroe Islands, and Luxembourg. Zlatko Zahovic scored four goals during the campaign, in which Slovenia finished in second place and thus qualifying to the playoffs. In the playoffs, Slovenia was drawn against Romania. The first leg of the playoffs was played in Slovenia. Slovenia won the game 2-1 with the goals from Milenko Akimovic in the first half and Milan Osterk in the second half. In the second leg in Bucharest, Slovenia took the lead with a goal scored by Miladin Rudanha, which was his first and only goal for the national team in 65 appearances. Romania equalized with a goal scored by Kosmin Contra with 25 minutes remaining. The final result was 1-1 with Slovenia qualifying to its second consecutive major tournament and the first ever World Cup. Through the whole qualifying campaign, Slovenia played a total of 12 games and was undefeated with a total of 6 wins and 6 draws. Topic: 2002 World Cup Slovenia played in the group B with Spain, Paraguay, and South Africa. All matches in the group were played in South Korea. In the first game, Slovenia played against Spain for the second time in a row at a major tournament. Under heavy rain, Spain took the lead late in the first half with the goal from Raúl. Valeron added a second 15 minutes before full time for a 2-0 lead. Seven minutes later, Sebastian Simaradic managed to score the first World Cup goal for Slovenia to reduce the score to 2-1. Fernando Hierro scored a penalty goal in 87th minute for the final score of 3-1. 
This match is infamous in Slovenia due to the conflict between coach Sreko Katanic and player Zlatko Zahovic in the dressing room after the game, which resulted in Zlatko Zahovic being sent home and Sreko Katanic's resignation after the tournament. Slovenia lost the two remaining matches against South Africa 1-0 and Paraguay 3-1. Milenko Akimovic scored the second goal for Slovenia at the tournament. Topic: <laughs> Boyan Prasnikar period. After the resignation of Sreko Katanic, Boyan Prasnikar was named as head coach for the third time. UEFA Euro 2004 qualifying campaign In the UEFA Euro 2004 qualifying campaign, Slovenia played against France, Israel, Cyprus, and Malta. The team finished in second place and managed to qualify for its third consecutive playoffs. This time, Slovenia had to play against its neighbouring country as the draw set a duel against Croatia. The first leg was played in Zagreb and Croatia managed to get in the lead as Dato Piarzo scored a goal in the fifth minute, while Slovenia equalized 15 minutes later with a goal scored by Erman Siljak, for the final score of 1-1. In the second leg, Dato Piarzo scored the only goal of the game 15 minutes into the second half. That meant that Croatia has qualified for the UEFA Euro 2004 with the aggregate score of 2-1. Boyan Prasnikar was later criticized by the media and the fans for his defensive tactics as Slovenia only managed to take one shot on target during the two playoff games. Prasnikar was later replaced by Branko Oblak. Erman Siljak scored a total of nine goals in the whole campaign, thus becoming the best goalscorer of the whole UEFA zone qualifications. Branko Oblak period decline. When Branko Oblak took charge of the Slovenian national team, there were almost no players from the era of Sreko Katanic remaining as most of them retired from football. During his two-year period as a manager, Branko Oblak selected over 40 different players for the national team. He led the team through the qualifications for 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany. In a group with Italy, Norway, Scotland, Belarus, and Moldova, the team achieved a victory over Moldova and Italy and a draw against Scotland, thus winning seven points in the first three games. Later, however, the team has won only five points in the remaining matches and finished in fourth place. Branko Oblak also coached the team at the beginning of the qualifications for UEFA Euro 2008. In a group with Netherlands, Romania, Bulgaria, Belarus, Albania, and Luxembourg, the team quickly lost its qualification chances with two defeats to Bulgaria and Belarus In November 2006, Oblak was sacked by the Football Association of Slovenia. In January 2007, Matjaz Kek was appointed as the new manager of the national team. Matjaz Kek period After the campaign for the Euro 2008 was finished, with Slovenia finishing in sixth place, it was speculated that Kek will be replaced by an Italian coach of Slovene origin, Eduardo Reja. However, that did not happen and Kek was given a chance to prove himself in a qualifications for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Topic. World Cup 2010 qualifying campaign Slovenia was drawn into a group with Czech Republic, Poland, Northern Ireland, Slovakia, and San Marino. Slovenia held Poland to a 1–1 draw in Wrocław and then won its first two home games against Slovakia and Northern Ireland Slovenia then won only one point in the two games with the Czech Republic and lost away against Northern Ireland, when they got back on track with the home 5–0 victory over San Marino. After that, the team defeated Poland at home 3–0 and defeated Slovakia in Bratislava 2–0 who were at the time the main contenders for the first place. In the last round, Slovenia needed a win over San Marino 3–0 and a draw, loss of Slovakia in Poland to clinch the first position. 
Slovakia, however, won an away game in Poland 1–0 and therefore Slovenia finished in second place and was headed to the playoffs for the fourth time in history. Slovenia was drawn against Russia in the playoffs. Other possible opponents were France, Portugal, and Greece. The first leg was played in Moscow. The match ended 2–1 for the home side, with Nejc Pechnik scoring an away goal for Slovenia late in the game. In the second leg, played in Maribor, Slovenia defeated Russia 1–0 with a goal by Zlatko Dedic. Slovenia has qualified for the main tournament with an aggregate score of 2–2 due to the away goals rule. Slovenia was the only unseeded team that managed to qualify from the playoffs. The top scorer for the national team during the qualifying campaign was Milivoje Novakovic with five goals. Slovenia was undefeated at home during the campaign as the team managed to achieve five victories and a draw with a total goal difference 13-1. Topic: <laughs> World Cup 2010. Slovenia was drawn into Group C alongside England, Algeria, and the United States. Slovenia won their opening game against Algeria at the Peter Mokaba Stadium, Palakwain, with Robert Koran scoring the only goal of the game. In their second game against the United States, Slovenia was leading 2–0 at half-time with Walter Bursa and Zlatan Lubohankic scoring for Slovenia, however, Landon Donovan and Michael Bradley scored for the United States for the final score of 2–2. In their last match in the preliminary round, Slovenia lost to England 0-1 by a goal from Germain Defoe. Because the United States defeated Algeria with the goal scored in the last moments of the match, the Slovenian team was eliminated. <laughs> Stadiums Slovenia has played home matches in eight different cities at ten different stadiums since the first official home game against Estonia in 1993. Below are the stadiums, where Slovenia played at least ten international matches. <laughs> Bazigrad Stadium Bazigrad Stadium is located in the capital city of Ljubljana and was the main stadium until 2004, when UEFA banned it due to insufficient infrastructure. The stadium was built in 1935 and has hosted a total of 27 matches of the national team, which is more than any other stadium in the country. It has a total capacity of 8,211 and was the main venue of the national team in the qualifications for the UEFA Euro 2000 and the 2002 FIFA World Cup, in which Slovenia qualified, and the qualifications for the UEFA Euro 2004, when the team secured second position in the group and then lost in playoffs. The stadium has been closed since 2008. Ludski VRT. Ludski VRT is situated in Maribor, Slovenia's second largest city and is known of being the home ground of the most successful club in the country NK Maribor. After the renovation of the stadium in 2008, the ground became the main venue of the national team, and in the same year, Ludski VRT hosted the first national team match since 1999. The stadium current capacity is 12,702 covered seats. Ludski VRT was the main home venue in the qualifications for 2010 FIFA World Cup, where Slovenia did particularly well as the team was undefeated in all six home games, winning five and drawing one match with a goal difference 13-1. Stadion Zadizele Stadion Zadizele is a stadium located in Celia, the third largest city of Slovenia. It was built in 2003 onwards in separate phases and was the main venue for the national team in the qualifications for the 2006 FIFA World Cup and UEFA Euro 2008. The capacity of the stadium is 13,059 seats from which only around 50% are covered. Slovenia played 17 matches on this stadium, with the last one played in 2013. Topic: Stazis Stadium. Stazis Stadium is located in the capital city of Ljubljana. The stadium has a capacity of 16,038 seats and is the main venue for the national team. 
The opening match was played in August 2010 against Australia, which Slovenia won 2-0. Kit Topic Kit Provider Since the first of January two thousand seven, the kit provider of the national team is Nike. Previously, the kit providers were Puma, Adidas, Ulsport, and Kappa. Topic Colors and kit evolution Up until 1992, when Slovenia was not affiliated to either FIFA or UEFA, the team played its matches in white, blue and red, which are the traditional colors of Slovenia. After independence and recognition by FIFA and UEFA, the team continued to play in the same colors up until 1994, when the board of the Football Association of Slovenia decided to change the colors to white and green, which are the traditional colors of the capital city of Ljubljana and also the colors of the most successful club at the time, NK Olympia, which was based in the same city. In 2009, a new board of the Football Association of Slovenia immediately opted for a change of the colors. In December 2009, the board voted for the change of the jersey colors and from 2012 onwards the main colors of the team were white for home and blue for away matches. In February 2011 it was again confirmed, by the Football Association of Slovenia, that the jersey colors will change in 2012 and that the kit provider, Nike, has already started to design the national team jerseys in white, blue and red. In April 2012, Nike revealed the redesigned Slovenia kits. The strip was all white with a blue and green trim. The new away kit was all baby blue with a green and white trim. In March 2016, the new kits were revealed with all green kit returning as an away kit. Topic: <laughs> Nickname. Slovenia does not have a nickname and was according to media the only team at the 2010 FIFA World Cup without one. During the 2010 World Cup qualification there were attempts from the home journalists to pick the nickname for the team, but that was not well taken among the fans as most of them feel that a process to obtain a nickname should occur naturally. Recently, there were some articles abroad that suggested that the team is called the Dragons, however that is not the case in Slovenia as that is the sign only of the capital city of Ljubljana and a nickname of NK Olympia Ljubljana from the same city and has nothing to do with the country itself. The idea of the Dragons is not well taken among the fans and is not used either by home media or the fans nor is it used by the fans of Olympia themselves. However, due to the long tradition of Olympia playing in Yugoslav Football League, some football fans from former Yugoslav republics Serbia use this nickname to describe the Slovenian national team. However, things change just across the border as the Dragons is one of the nicknames that is used by Bosnian media and fans to describe their own national football team. The 1998-2002 generation behind coach Sreko Katanic is still referred to as the Golden Generation. <laughs> <laughs> Schedule and results <laughs> Recent and upcoming games All results home and away list Slovenia's goal tally first. Topic: Players. Topic: Current squad. Squad for the matches against Norway on the 16th of November and Bulgaria on the 19th of November 2018. Caps and goals updated as of the 19th of November 2018 after the match against Bulgaria. Topic: <laughs> Recent call-ups. The following players have also been called up to the Slovenia squad in the last 12 months. Notes. INJ injured Pre-preliminary squad Ret retired from the national team Previous squads <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Competition history. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> World Cup. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> European Championship. Topic: Nations League. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Managers. Last updated the 19th of November 2018. Topic All time team record. The following tables show Slovenia's all time international record, correct as of the 19th of November 2018 after the match against Bulgaria. Topic Pre independence team 1921 to 1991. Topic Modern Slovenian team nineteen ninety two present. Topic Honours. Topic Minor tournaments. Carlsberg Cup third place one two thousand two. Cyprus International Tournament Trunners Up, 2, 1998, 2006 Oman International Tournament Trunners Up, 2, 1999, 2000 Rothmans International Tournament Winners, 1, 1994 Runners Up, 1, 1996 Other awards Best Mover of the Year 1999 Topic See also List of Slovenia international footballers equals equals notes <laughs>